Poland is the latest country to pull its gold out of uh, foreign banks. The National Bank of Poland wants to take back, essentially repatriate, 100 tons of gold from the bank. What's 100 tons of gold look like? Have you ever wondered? Uh, anyway, it's 100 tons of gold from the Bank of England, and they're telling England, we want it back. We don't trust you. The reason? See, it wants to limit its uh, geopolitical risk. But you think, what is more geopolitically safe than the U.K., right? The U.K., my gosh, they're, well, maybe not. Apparently, there is a reason for concern for many countries. To answer this, we are joined now uh, by Peter Schiff, who is the CEO of uh, Euro-Pacific uh, Capital, and he's good enough to join us. My goodness, you know, um, here we are talking about Great Britain. Aren't they the perfect place to store gold? Why would countries t be telling the U.K., we don't trust you to hold our gold anymore? What's going on, Peter? Well, you remember, way back when, the U.K. dumped all their gold. I think they sold all their gold when it was under $300 an ounce. And, of course, the appreciation in pounds has been a lot greater than it has been in U.S. dollars. So, you know, if, if Britain gets desperate and they don't have any of their own gold, uh, you know, they may try to seize some of the gold that they do have, which, you know, it I makes sense that the, the Poles would want to get their gold back just in case. You know, one of the good things about gold is that it, you, know, you don't have any counterparty risk. It's not somebody else's liability, but one risk you take is storing it with a third party because what if they don't give it to you when you need it? So I think it's not that foreign central banks are wanting more gold because they're preparing for a post-dollar world where gold is going to be the primary reserve asset backing up currencies, not dollars. But not only do foreign governments want more gold, but they want that gold in their own possession. They want to make sure they have it when they need it. You know, I'm also thinking, and I understand your point, and I take it very well, and it's very well reasoned and thought through, obviously, from someone like yourself who deals in gold all the time. But I'm also thinking that the U.K. recently has done a couple of things that make me think, look, you could love Venezuela, think they're communists, think they're wonderful, hate them, whatever, right? But recently, the U.K. told Venezuela, you cannot have your hands on your own gold. Now, whether it's Venezuela or a country maybe that I love or don't like, should any country have the right to tell another country, you put your gold here, but we're just going to keep it because we don't like your politics? <laughs> well, I guess that's what they call sovereign immunity. But, you know, now you run the risk of people not wanting to store their gold with you if you're going to come up with excuses uh, not to give it back. And, and so I think it makes sense because, you know, I, I don't know why anybody has their gold stored in the United States. I mean, I think that's probably one of the most dangerous places to keep it. I, I think maybe it's safer in, in the U.K. than the U.S., uh, but a lot of countries have their gold here with us, and, uh, you know, they, they should really be trying to get it back. Remember, the Germans tried to get it back, I forget how many years ago, and they, 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 they weren't successful. I think they had to abort the attempt. You, so that tells you. You just said one of the worst, or I think you said dangerous places to keep your gold is in the United States. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say that. Could you, uh, can you <laughs> extrapolate on that a little bit for us? Well, I mean, I think there's a lot of political risk here um, because I do think that we're headed for a major currency crisis. I think the dollar is going to collapse, and so that's going to take down the U.S. economy, our entire way of life has been built on the privilege of issuing the world's reserve currency. And when the dollar loses that status, I mean, all hell's going to break loose uh, here in the U.S. And, you know, I don't know what is going to happen, uh, but, you know, we, 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 we could take desperate measures. And, of course, we could have socialists in control of the U.S. You know, economy if the socialists have the White House and they have uh, both chambers of Congress. Uh, so who knows? I mean, they could declare some kind of national emergency. Mm. You know, uh, the U.S. has a history of confiscating gold in the 1930s. We defaulted on our wow. obligations to pay gold. You know, once upon a time, uh, we told the world if you had $35, we would give you an ounce of gold. That was an IOU. Mm. It was like a commitment, like a bond. And then we defaulted. So we've done desperate things in the past when our backs were to the wall. So if we have real economic chaos here, uh, you know, the U.S. might just nationalize or see uh, any gold okay. uh, that, that it has custody of. So I, I would want to take that chance if I was a foreign government. Peter Schiff, making headlines here on the news with Rick Sanchez. Thank you, my friend.